Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. On this video, we're gonna be continuing the series of GitHub. Uh, it's, a, it's a small series, just two parts. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be deploying this website. So we already pushed it to uh, from our local computer to, to GitHub. So you can see that we, we already have here our repo and you know, you have the code and all of that. So you need to follow the first tutorial if you wanna continue with this tutorial. So make sure that you check out the first video. And this is the app that we're going to be deploying. Uh, you know, it's nothing fancy. It's just a, a way to show you how to do it. All right. So what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be using here is AWS Amplify. So you want to create an account for AWS, you know, go to the console and then just go to AWS Amplify. And once you've done that, so I already have some sites here. So you need to be connected. So you need to have the code on GitHub, right? So you go to a new app and you'll go to host, uh, no host, yeah, host web app. So go to host web app, go to GitHub. And if you have your code in any of these platforms, you can do the same thing. Go to continue. So once you're here, you know, it's going to ask you for a GitHub authorization. If you already did it, I already did it. That's why it shows there. But in my case, you can see that it's not showing the repo that I just, uh, the repo that I have is called styling. It's not showing here. So I'm already connected to those two. So then what you want to do is go to uh, view GitHub uh, permissions. And then it's going to take you to this page, right? So you want to come here and then you'll go to select the repo. So you don't want to, unless you want to, you know, connect all the repos, this is up to you. I'll just, um, so I'll just do the select repos and go to the repo that I want to connect. And we'll just say styling and it's going to find it here and then just save it and that's going to change it. So now you'll, uh, so now it will be connected to it. So let me, let me just go back to Amplify. All right. So then just go back to the window that you were in and you can just reload the page. And now you can see that we, we have access to the, to the correct repo that we want to deploy. Uh, well, it's the main branch. We don't have any other branch. And then we'll just say next. And then this is going to detect, uh, you know, the code. Uh, so just, uh, you don't have to do anything here. Just press next. And here it's going to tell you like the framework is react. Well, it's react because we're working with react. It detected the build files and then just say, uh, save and deploy. And that should be all now. Um, let's just wait. All right. So now it's going to take you to this page and here. So this is going to be the, the URL of the site. So right now it's going to give you like a message that it doesn't have anything, but it's going to be here. Right. And right now it's just provisioning. It's going to build it and then it's going to deploy it. So this is pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, so if you come here, let's just give it a second until uh, this works. And then uh, I'll show you the website uh, being deployed here. It's, it's that easy to be honest. And we did it under five minutes, I think. So I just wanted to show you the whole process from uh, having a local directory on your computer to going to the web, right? So uh, just by using AWS Amplify. There is another tutorial that I have on my channel and that one, um, I deploy a website as well. It's the same process and right now it's done. It's the same process, but I don't use this uh, domain that Amplify gives me. I use a different domain. So if you want to check that out, I have that video on my channel. And on that one, I show you how to change this to a custom domain. I'm not going to do it here because uh, I've done it like, uh, I think two times already. So you can just go and watch that video. And as you can see here, now we have the form it's been deployed. So now you can access this from, you know, any, any part of the world. And, and it's great because it, it just, it took us like uh, five minutes or maybe less. So this is a very short video, but I think, um, it was worth doing just because I wanted to show you how, you know, once again, you can go from zero to a hundred and this is great for prototyping, uh, you know, building the, the MVPs, uh, and other websites that you just want to get off the ground quickly. And we're going to explore more Git commands in the future. We're going to explore more technologies like AWS. And I hope that you stick around. Um, you know, if you like the video, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share it with others, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.